Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today, I'm gonna try out cooking a steak in my Brava oven. That's right, I've used my Brava for all kinds of other stuff like cooking eggs and, and the perfect grilled cheese sandwich and all that. But today, I'm gonna see how it does cooking a steak. Here we go. All right, so I have my steak here and it's sort of a combo between a porterhouse and a T-bone. And so I, uh, I chose the porterhouse, the Porter New York strip steak on the Brava. That's about as close as I can find to it. So yeah, um, I did also put a few things on here. I put a little salt on here. I put some, uh, some oregano, some basil, a little bit of olive oil on there, just a little bit of stuff to give it some flavor, uh, to enhance the flavor of it. And uh, yeah, so I need to put it in here and what I need to do is actually grab the temp, uh, the, the temp sensor on here so that I can plug this in and uh, make sure that the oven knows when my steak is done. So I wanna go ahead and just plug it into one of the areas of the meat that's fairly thick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in. I'm just gonna stick it in right here and get it all the way in there. And I also wanna get this on the side that's closest to where the, uh, the temp sensor plugs in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the oven here and put this in. It's gonna tell me, I need. I know from looking at the top screen here that I need to put the metal tray on the top rack. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the top rack here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the, uh, the temp sensor. Okay, so here's the temp sensor and it goes right into this little port right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. And there we go, it plugs right in. And the cable that runs right along there, you just wanna make sure it sort of tucks underneath that there's a little shield under there that protects it so it doesn't burn out from the heat. You just wanna make sure that it's sort of under there and, uh, and stays protected. So we'll just get that to, uh, to lay right under flat there. And now we are ready to go. So we have our steak in there and uh, we just need to get the Brava turned on and going. All right, so I'm ready to go and get this oven going. We can see right here, it's, uh, it's telling us here um, basically how many, how many sections are uh, being used right now. So I'm using section one and two of the tray. Right here, it's gonna tell us the thickness that I set for my uh, temp sensor there. And we can adjust this right here by just uh, sliding this up or down and getting it uh, to the correct thickness. And you could just measure this by putting your steak, uh, putting this into the steak and, and looking at the little lines on there. And so I'll see if I can get this back to exactly where it was before. And let's see, there we go, get it there. Oop, nope, not quite. So let's see, I, uh, ah, that's good enough. Well, no, let's see if we can get it about, about, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a little tricky. I'll be honest with you, this is one of the parts that are a little tricky. There we go, now we're back to where it was. All right, now we have the temperature and this is gonna give us the opportunity to, to go say from rare to, uh, to medium rare, to medium, to well done, uh, medium well, and then well done. And I'm gonna go with, uh, with medium right there. Now we also have this one right here where you can actually play a video. It says the, uh, this is where it's telling us to insert the, the temp sensor. And then this one here is uh, telling us that the temp sensor is connected. And then this one here is telling us where to place the tray. So we're actually gonna place the tray on the top shelf here. And then the last one here is basically sort of like a settings uh, window or page for this particular cook. So we can see what it is that we're gonna be cooking, how long it's gonna take to cook it, and it's gonna tell us the, uh, it's gonna tell us the quantity. I set two steaks so it covers the, uh, so it covers two sections there. And then the thickness that I have it set for, the, the temperature, and, um, and then the fact that the temp sensor is connected. So now all I need to do is simply go ahead and push this green button right there that is flashing right there, and it'll start cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that. And that's going to start going. And as it starts going, we'll see here that I have my camera view on there so I can actually watch my steak cook as it's cooking. All right, so my food is done here and let me go ahead and take it out and let me open this up. And the first thing we wanna do is just simply uh, take this to temp sensor off and we're just gonna rest it on the tray and then we're gonna take this out and make sure that you use uh, pot holders or something because this will uh, be hot when it's coming out of here. So um, now my steak's done. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and eat it, but let's go ahead and take a closer look first. So there is my steak. It is all nice and finished, and uh, hopefully it's going to be great. Um, you can see here, I've rested the temp sense on the tray there. It's probably best not to have it uh, in liquid like that, but usually what I like to do to get it off, I usually just grab a fork and a knife, and I just do like this so I can pull it out of there because, you know, it's, it's likely gonna be hot, so I just wanna make sure I can get that out. And then I just set this off to the side, and I'll usually set this over here somewhere, and I'll clean that later, so. But yeah, there's my steak, and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut into it and see what this looks like, and there we go, that is medium. That is exactly how I wanted it. That is a perfectly cooked steak. That's gonna be really, really tasty. All right, my steak is all plated up. I had some leftover vegetables and rice, so I'm gonna eat a little bit of that. And I just wanna taste this. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and uh, cut a little piece off here and taste this. Now they do say that when you cook this, you should uh, plate it and serve it within like two, three minutes so it maintains its proper doneness. But yeah, oh man, that was good. That was, per that was just cooked perfectly, so anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Thank you for showing up and watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave a link to everything down below, like my Brava oven and all that. So you can check it out. And if you're interested, pick one up. I don't wanna speak with my mouth full, so I'm out of here. But thanks for coming back to watch. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. You know, I'm Larry, what today I feel like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace and bon appetit.